Here a crash here on this uh, video. We are going to look at this 3D print I printed out last night. This is another one on Things Iverse. And we're going to do the full meal deal on this. I'm going to walk you through most every step that I can. And matter of fact, the video for flashing the speed controllers with the BL Heli. That video should already be up. And then we'll walk through taking a CC3D and changing it over to clean flight. And whatever else we run into on the assembly of this. Um, like I said, this thing's on Thing Iverse. You can download it and print it. And this guy did an amazing job. Prints out pretty good. Uh, this is the third version. There is a few different versions. His original one had uh, carbon fiber arms. So you can go that route. I did have trouble with this printing, so I had to go to the, his old file. And this. But everything else worked in that. And I think if I would have ran it through NetFab, it probably would have been fine. And then this is the camera plate. And this is for the tail. Like I said, everything looks like it fits good. The only place, there's no screws right here, so I'm wondering, I might drill two holes right there. I think that'd really strengthen it if it had two more screws there, instead of just holding it here. Take a look at the bottom plate. And he has screws just going in from each side, which is what I'm doing, because it's what I have, and probably the same thing he did. But I hope to, on at least these two, to get some all the way through, you know, a bolt and nut kind of thing going on. But anyway, we'll see you at the next step. Okay, once you get everything printed out, you'll want to you have a little sharp edge from your glass. And maybe you won't have enough one you'll worry about. But if you do, you can go ahead and clean that off. Take your razors. What I do is cut it off and then kind of sand it a little bit, clean it up. And then take a drill bit and go through every one of the holes and clean them all out. Um, a lot of these little screws we get, like I'm using a lot of servo screws. Some of them are pretty soft and they'll snap right off in the hole. So you don't want that to happen because then you're reprinting because you'll never get it out. So like I said, clean your edges, clean out all your holes, and then we'll go on to the next step. Okay, we're looking at the tail here. And it looks like you could do it maybe a few different ways. He has it made for a nut to go in there and a bolt through this way <clears throat> and so you can and then he has this slot here which pretty much looks like you could you know clean that out and make that go in there you'd probably slide it up through this way attach it to the servo you know, and slide it up in there and uh, you'd have to put it on there first you know put your bolt through and put it on there like that and and then the other way is the way it looks like most of them are doing it your bolt comes through your back and then he's got a, a hole here and uh, you'd put a screw through your servo like this so I don't know if that would kind of help in a crash or if it would make it sloppy I guess I'm going to find out what I think would even be better yet is go ahead and put your screw up top here and then just run if you could find a screw that's the same size as your servo and just run it all the way through into your servo 
might be a third option. Um, so you just gotta see what you uh, think's best and go with your gut. See you in the next clip.